Morning everyone! So today I'm going out on a typical bike ride around just the local lanes um, near where I live in the Peak District. Um, I'm not particularly training for anything, I'm not going to do any efforts or anything like that. So yeah, I just wanted to take advantage of some uh, dry weather really. We've had, again, awful weather this week. Um, so while it's sunny, I thought I'd just go out for a couple of hours before coming back and doing some work and some housework and stuff. So I'll take you through the sorts of kit I'm taking with me. All right, here's my bike. It's my giant Propel. Um, I use it for everything, um, including long distance audaxes. It's not exactly made for that, but anyway. Um, so in the front tub, I've got a dynamo and that leads to my Igaro charger. Um, and also powers my front light there and the back one which is on one of the rear seat stays. Um, I've got a power meter on there which I don't particularly pay attention to the numbers to be honest but um, yeah it's kind of just on there and I can't be bothered to change it. Um, I always take a frame bag because the mini pump I have in there is flipping massive um, and I don't want to tie it to like my frame or anything so I just took it in a bag and it's got all my puncture repair stuff in it and stuff so um, it's not a massive inconvenience might weigh more but I don't know I'm not too bothered about weight this is one of the best views in the valley I reckon you can see over to Stanage Edge on the right in the far up there far hill and then Bamford Edge on the other side of it there's Wing Hill Shafton, which is at the top of it. Right, we've uh, peeled off the main road now and we're on a nice little lane. Uh, this takes us up to the cement works actually. Um, it's a pretty cool lane actually, it's uh, just like a single track. Although it's a bit muddy here. Uh, but yeah, it'll take us to a bridge where we can a bit of a gander at the cement works, it's very cool. I've had to take a glove off because I can't operate my phone with my gloves. So I've got one on and the other one that's holding this phone is gloveless and it's really cold. So we'll see how long I can go for. I'll post the route up or a link to my Strava so you can see where I've been. Uh, but it's always nice to know in popular places like the Peak District a few alternative roads you can take away from the crowds or the cars or whatever really, just a few little hidden gems. Another cracking lane. Uh, this takes us to Aston which is a tiny little hamlet um, just the other side of the train line which I'm about to go over it's got a bit of a, a sting in the tail uh, so I won't be able to film that which is why I need an on-bike camera As you can see, we've had a lot of rain. Uh, this road is actually not very well maintained. Um, it is nice, there's no traffic, but um, there's quite a few bees and a bit of mud on the ground, so you need to have your wits about you, but uh, yeah, it is nice. right puffed out because I just climbed out of Thornhill and I thought I'd used up all my gears so I was out the saddle like Hoo -hoo -hoo. and uh, I got to the junction with 
new road, this road, and I have shifted down a couple. So that's not very clever, is it? Anyway, I'll show you the view up here in a minute. here for a while. I'm currently on Coggers Lane which will drop me into Hathersage. Look at the colours though. It's amazing. Standage edge in the background, that whole edge there. Various parts where you usually see a few climbers but well, there's a few people up there now but it might be a little cold on the fingers. Um, very nice day, there's plenty of people out, some more chatty than others, but hard to be mad in it, and so lucky. This is savage, what is this climb? I'm a granny gear, I'm dying. I turned off Cogger's Lane thinking, oh, this would be nice. Out really steep, and I had to get off at a cattle grid because I wasn't sure I'd make it over without losing my wheel. Alright, so I had to go through the buzzing metropolis of Hathersage, and uh, on my way up Abney now, the climb I will never shut up about. It's amazing, so it's quite a long one though, so I'll be here for a bit. Then I might drop into Eam few nice calves there and it's a Sunday, it's sunny and I want a cup of tea. Right, when I've had a real big windfall from an unknown to me relative, this is the house I'm going to buy. even got a little I don't know, tower just there. So cool. Little turrets. I don't know if you can see it very well but senses. Anyway, in other bicycle related news, toying with entering a race again next year. Uh, I don't know which one yet, we've got a few to choose from really. But um, yeah, just got itchy feet again. amazing climbs, like 6k, real low average because there are actually bits that dip down. Um, yeah, a little bit steep at the start but apart from that you can just tap away, it's really really nice. There's a gliding club here. This is the road above Breton. That we went past before, over there. But this is why the road is closed. It's massive. Fall in the road. So cars aren't allowed on. Giant Lego bricks.
day of leaving Eve now, trying to get a shimmy on back home. It's pretty chilly actually, especially when the wind picks up. Um, I'll have to put in the footage I got uh, like last week, a week before. Well, someone has baked a cake uh, of Eam Village. So there's all the different houses and church and shops and things made out of fruitcake. If you're in town between now and the end of November, you should definitely go and see it, it's pretty cool. like the penultimate road to take me home. 2k, 2, 3k and a nice cup of tea. Yeah this is a real cool lane for avoiding the main valley road into Bradwell really. Um, you can just kind of stay high and it takes you through Little Hot Clow. You might even get to see some alpacas. They're kind of a recent addition in the new year to this little hamlet. Very exciting, that's about the best gets around here. I'm going to round off the video here. Um, there's obviously plenty more to discover in the Peak District. I just really touched about 44 k's of it. Um, so I'll probably do another one in a different area of, of the Peak that I usually ride. Please like this video, subscribe, let me know in the comments where you want me to ride. As long as it's not Moynets Pass because that's the worst climb in the Peak District. Um, and yeah, follow me on Strava if you want to see where I went. I'll put the link in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you soon. I've got a 200 coming up in November, so I'll probably do a video then. All right then, ciao.